Hello, my name is Bruce and I, I consider myself to be a friend of Frontline Church. I first went to Frontline about 30 years ago when my brother Phil was a student. I believe you're still having to put up with him, but that's okay. Um, and I've really enjoyed uh, your daily reflections each, each morning. I think it's been great and I've learned a lot and I've found them really helpful. I use the Moravian lectionary and uh, it's been really helpful to me. Our text today is Joshua 24 verses 1 to 18. Um, the context is that Joshua uh, has, has, is coming to the end of his life and he's gathered um, the whole of the tribe of Israel before him, shortly before his death. Uh, it says at the beginning, verse, verse 1, uh, that unity is a really important thing. He, he talks about how he's assembled all the tribes. And again, he says in verse two that he's addressing all the people. And it talks about how the elders, the judges, the officials, they're all represented. And I think there's something really significant, something very powerful when God's people come together. That, if you want to read Psalm 133, it talks about that, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. So strive for unity. That's what we are, I think we can be encouraged to do. Do not allow anyone to be marginalised, to be left out. Ensure that all voices are heard and everyone gets to hear what is being said. Joshua then reminds them of their history, the story that they are in fact part of. He starts with Abraham and the story of Isaac and Jacob and Esau and the promise uh, that Abraham was given. It goes on about Moses and then Aaron and how he, they brought them out of Egypt. It says in verse seven, you saw with your own eyes, they've experienced uh, all that God has done. They are part of the story. They have lived with it. They have lived in it. And then it comes to the stage where they are just arriving at the Jordan River, to the east of the Jordan River, approaching the promised land. Um, there's the story of, of Balaam and, and, and how there's a blessing, there is not a curse over God's people. Uh, it goes on to the story of Jericho, uh, how um, the Amorites, the Canaanites and a load of other tribes were defeated. And it says, it says through, through God says through, through Joshua, you did not do this, I did it. This was God's work, that's in verse 12. You did not do it with your own sword and bow. God has done all this for them. So Joshua gives them this, this brief history and he's reminding them that God has been a faithful God, that God's abiding presence has never left them all through this story, through generations from Abraham up to the present day. And Joshua then asks them to, to respond to this. He says to them uh, in verse 14, he, he asks them to fear God, to serve God, and to be faithful to their God. And, and Abraham, Joshua says to them, you need to choose. Are you gonna choose to live for God rather than the idols, the other gods that, that, that you've acquired, that we've acquired along the way? He asks them to examine their life and think about uh, all that. Um, how, how do they need to focus on God, be faithful to God, and to reject the things that are not of, of God. And that's, I think, therefore, something that's important for us to think about too. If God is who he says he is, if this story that we've been part of is true, then the choice is clear. Verse 18, it ends with them saying, we too will serve the Lord because he is our God. And I think we need to remind each other. Um, I think there's a special way in which we must do this within families uh, to our children, reminding them of the story that we are part of, remind each other of all that God has done for us, of all that God is doing for us. So I think if anything today, I would say, be good at telling your story. I think you probably are, but this is maybe a reminder. Tell your story remind your children of, of the story of Frontline Church, of how it started uh, from something small uh, that has grown. Um, 
of, of how you've made missional communities and be part of mission, missional communities as you, as you have this vision at Frontline Church uh, to be good news to the city of Liverpool that everyone gets to hear uh, of who God is, of what God has done for them so that they can become part of God's story for themselves. So keep telling God's story, keep telling your story uh, and the part that God has played in that that you will encourage one another and look for how that story uh, continues in your lives. Thank you for trusting me with this Moravian reflection today and uh, I look forward to hearing more of your story as I continue to, to journey with you, alongside you, uh, as part of, God's, um, of part of God's family, part of God's church where we live in Kent. Thanks very much. Bye.